So let's. Uh, it's been a while since we talked about kind of our our golf thoughts and had a, a topic like that. Mm-hmm. So what do you like to do off the tee? Kind of setting. Do you set a like a line? Do you set a zone? And and not necessarily talking like a par three. I'm talking more like a par four or a par sure, five. Sure, so more of like the driver or like yeah, just what I'm yeah. So I know for me, um, since I've like really cultivated my driver this year. Um, after oddly enough, when we, when I first saw myself on film, I was like, oh, cool. I see what I'm doing now. So I just like, wasn't really turning my hips. Right. So, um, so now it's like, I get up there and I'm like, just visualizing where I want the ball to ideally finish or like where I'm trying to get to like carry wise. Um, and so that's really like my thought and then place. And then obviously on the ones like, you know, when uh like 11 for instance where it's you got the hard hard dog leg yep. left i'm just trying to like just focus on smooth like tempo placements i'm i'm really trying to do it's it's funny that you ask because it's over the last like <coughs> excuse me over the last like 2 to 3 months i genuinely have just like been trying to like slow down and just let the clubs do the work yeah, in the form exactly. rather than just like trying to smash it so um it's helped. I mean, obviously, I'm sh- scoring lower. I'm not putting 40 times around, which is crazy. Yeah. But we're getting there. And, you know, I, everybody has a different type of thing. But I, I really just try to actually visualize where it's going to end up. Yeah. Yeah, I try to, like, I mean, we talked a couple episodes back that it's, like, I with my driver and, like, even my hybrid, hybrid three-wood driver, I can't cut the ball at all. Mm-hmm. Like, even as hard as I try to cut it, I can't cut it. It's, like, straight or a draw. So I try to kind of set up basically, like, like I'll, I'll line up left side of the box. If I'm hitting driver or three wood, mm-hmm. you'll see me. I'm at the left side of the box mm-hmm. because I'm just trying to leave that space for me to hit it out right. And if it, it's going to draw back, right. if anything, and just right. leave that space for it to fall. And then I kind of do the opposite. Some of my longer irons, I always cut. My four, five, and six tend to cut a little bit. So then it's like the opposite. Mm. But I on the tee, I always use the line just like when I'm putting. Mm. I think it was, I don't know if it was you or if it was Anthony. I think he was like, he was like, why do you keep pointing your foot? And I've, I don't know, I've always done that where like, I, I use the line of my ball, but like when I go to, to put the tee in, I kind of first, like I point my big toe at like where my target line is. And then I kind of look down and I just like, after that, I don't really look up. I just go off of like, okay, that's where I'm pointing this ball line. Interesting. Because it's like, if I'm if I have the line down and I'm trying to see like is it pointing at that tree? It's so hard. So it's like I point my toe at it and then use that. Hmm. And then once I'm over the ball, I don't like to look up at all because then you look up and you see the trees or you see the water or you see bunkers and stuff like that. And just focus so you're essentially, on like, yeah. So that essentially, line you're lining it up and then just and my you club set face. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't know how well like it doesn't always work, but. I just try to do that a lot, even when my irons, like, I don't have the line, but I'll do that intermediate target, which I know we talked about a bit before. Yeah, like, yeah. Nick Faldo's big on. I really like the intermediate. Th- I, I, I like that. Yeah. That's helped me a lot. Just, it, it I think it helps keep your face square, because you're always, if you're looking down, I mean, the bigger thing is, like, okay, you're looking at the ball, and then you're looking at your target, but, like, if you point your feet at the target, you're now closed. Mm-hmm. So you can't do that. Your feet have to be six yards to the left of the target you right. know what I mean? and then it's like visualizing that is so difficult yeah so yeah. i've kind of changed my setup a bit but i don't know it seems to be working i it's my misses have gotten much narrower with yes. my irons mm-hmm. the big thing is obviously I, I think we talked about how i cracked my driver at some point in Cortland. so mm-hmm. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.